In a world where conventional car designs are falling victim to the global onslaught of the SUV, it's good to see that Audi still has faith in traditional layouts. And I'm even more pleased to see that they've got faith in performance versions of these traditional layouts like four-door sedans and compact five-door hatches. This car is the Audi S3 and it's the muscled up version of the A3 family. It features a ripping turbocharged engine, seven-speed dual clutch gearbox, and of course, Audi's Quattro all-wheel drive. But more than it being just a new Audi, in terms of it being a lifeline for this style of car, it's very significant. Now, this video will be broken up into sections and someone much smarter than me will be adding time codes. So if you want to skip ahead, you can. The written review is also on the Cars Guide website. And if you're watching this on YouTube, don't forget to like, subscribe and ding the bell and we'll keep you up to date with new videos as they happen. There's only one trim level in the new Audi S3, so your choices amount to body style. The Sportback is the cheaper option at $70,700 and the sedan comes in at $73,200. That's a hike of almost six grand over the old model and as always, some of what you're paying goes towards the Audi badge rather than anything more tangible. If that bothers you, then high-end cars of any sort probably aren't for you. Naturally, you get loads of standard kit full connectivity, and even touches like wireless device charging, 19-inch alloy wheels, and ambient lighting, with 30 different colors of lighting to choose from. You do, however, need to pay extra for a sunroof, which is part of an optional package. Take it to the limit, and you could be looking at a car that costs the wrong side of $80,000 by the time the government has taken its cut. Ouch. Now, when you are talking about cars at this end of things, the designers always run into one big question. Do they throw the baby out with the bathwater styling-wise, or do they take a different tack, a more evolutionary tack, and sharpen up what was already there? Well, in the case of the Audi S3, clearly the company has taken the latter approach, and that's why this car doesn't really look radically different to the previous S3. And if you own the old car, that's probably good news, but it's equally true that there's no revolution in styling happening at Audi right now. The clean design means that the S3's interior is a relatively unconfronting place to be, with minor functions carefully hidden till you need them. The configurable dashboard is a masterstroke, allowing for the important info at the time to be front and centre, and phone pairing is simple and quick. Luggage space is a handy 325 litres in either version, but with the rear seat in the hatch folded flat, that jumps to 1145 litres. The rear seat splits 40-20-40, and there are luggage nets and 12 volt sockets in the passenger and cargo areas. The only real complaint is the location of the drive mode switch, which is way over on the left of the centre stack. Clearly, the S3 was designed as left-hand drive first. Oh, and the black headlining means that the rear passenger compartment can feel a bit subterranean. The S3 gets every safety option Audi could throw at it, to be honest, and you'd expect as much. Of particular interest is the center front airbag aimed at reducing front seat passenger head clashes inside impacts. There's also the full suite of collision avoidance aids and the autonomous emergency braking function that can recognize both pedestrians and cyclists. The written review on the Cars Guide website has the full rundown on the S3's safety credentials. While the rest of the world downsizes its engines, no such strategy for the S3. It's a two litre, four cylinder with a turbocharger and an intercooler. It makes 228 kilowatts of power and 400 newton metres of torque. And I would just remind you that 228 kilowatts is more than 300 of your granddad's old horsepower, okay? So, seven speed dual clutch transmission is standard, as is the all wheel drive. And whichever way you cut the deck, it's pretty clear that under here is where a lot of the money has gone. So, performance is a given, but what about economy and efficiency? Well, Audi claims a combined official number for this car of 7.4 litres per 100 kilometres, which on paper doesn't actually look that good, but when you consider the performance potential you've got here, it's actually not too bad. The thing to remember, of course, is that if you start using that potential in the form of turbo boost, then that 7.4 litres per 100 kilometres is going to become a fairy tale very fast. When it comes to the cost of ownership, the news is good. Audi has just increased its factory warranty from 
three years to five years at unlimited kilometres. You can also buy an optional package of fixed price servicing for five years and servicing is every 15,000 kilometres or 12 months, whichever comes first. It takes almost no time for the S3's star quality to show through in terms of the way it drives. There's a real sophistication in the way it steers and the way the suspension works. Balanced is an overused word, but in this case, it's the perfect descriptor. Power is abundant and there's no real lag time between putting your foot down and the turbocharger responding with a shove in the back. The same goes for the dual clutch transmission, which is always on the ball. Grip is a given with the all-wheel drive system and other than slightly noisy tyres on coarse chip roads, there's not a lot to annoy you. One thing I'd say though, is that the steering feel in dynamic mode is simply heavier than it needs to be. Adding weight does not add feel and since it's such a great steerer in the first place, the added effort required doesn't really make any sense to me. One of the things I really, really like about this car is that somewhere inside Audi is an engineer who really understands music. Uh, this car has got a bit of a, a mechanical linkage between the engine bay and the windscreen, and then there's an amplifier to sort of improve that noise a little bit. But this car, and I'll show you what I mean, sounds for all the world like a five-cylinder Audi rally car from the 80s. If you're, if you're old enough to remember those things, this is the car to relive those fantasies. It's fantastic, it makes a great noise. I don't know how they've done it, but good on for doing it. So where does that leave us with all this? Well, quite clearly the S3, this car, is at the moment the, the driver's choice in the A3 family. Now, I know there is an RS3 coming later in the year and that will have even more grip, bigger tyres and more horsepower. But to be honest, this car is such a balanced unit that it wouldn't surprise me if this car, for the price, emerges as the real sweet spot in the Audi A3 lineup. And it's happened before, it could happen again. Take my word for it. And that's why I give this car a very, very solid 8 out of 10.